Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for a new fridge tour because I'm in the new house and I got so many requests from you all for a new one. So let's do this. My last fridge was a huge Viking fridge and this one is a Thermador. She's bigger, she's badder, and she's smarter. Look what she can do. Say your hands are full of groceries, all you gotta do is bump her, she opens herself, helps you open and it's on a timer. She closes herself as well. Also, if you leave the fridge, the fridge open, she'll shut the door for you. Shut the front door. Boom! So cool! Never had a fridge do this. She's like my new best friend. And before I get ahead of myself, before we go in my new fridge, I'm so excited to announce that my new merch is now officially out. We made holiday themed matching sweat sets. There's one in green, the one that I'm wearing. This one's called Evergreen, and then it also comes in red, which is called Candy Cane. And oh, before I forget, look at them, they're matching Santa hats. I did it for fun last year, but this time we made it official, and now we've got a whole matching set. The sets are unisex, but if you are tall, I would advise you size up. And there's a little cookie on here, and there is a smart cookie on the pants. So that's the set, and I wanted to tell you about it right away because we usually sell out of a lot of sizes quickly, and if you order them by December 10th, should arrive before the holidays. So I will link down below to it, or you can go to rosannapantino.com. Now, without further ado, Let's start this fridge tour. Now you may not even know where the fridge is because it's a hidden fridge. I've never had one of these before, but it's actually built into the cabinets. So it looks like it's just a part of the cabinets in your kitchen. Ta-da! We'll start with what's here on the door. You'll see some familiar faces and you'll also see who's new in the family. Up at the top, I keep a lot of snacks. These are not only for adults, but these are also for my little nephew, Grayson, when he comes over. They're the Sargento snackers. And then over here, we have little string cheeses. And then on the top storage, we've got butter. We've got my butter and then my mom's butter. She loves the Irish butter. Also, my mom is living with me most of the year, so some of the things in the fridge are her favorites. Over here, we have a lot of sauces. I I'm still using, this is one of my favorite soy sauce replacements. It's Liquid Aminos by the company Bragg. And then we have some regular soy sauce and I also love this brand. Go, dang it, oh. Okay there, we're back. I also love this brand for teriyaki sauce. It's called Coconut Secret and it is bomb.com. A new brand that's in my fridge this year is Primal. We have some steak sauce by them, but also a bunch of dressings. Molly, did you show me this one? You bet. Oh yeah, no dairy. Yeah, that's why. So my sister's lactose intolerant. So there's a bunch of things that are vegan and non-dairy and we love Follow Your Heart and now Primal. <gasps> and, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys like peanut sauce. Okay, so this one, I've eaten almost all of it and then I have another one, but <gasps> this one, the 365 peanut coconut sauce, so good. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, and has a hint of coconut. I really love it, it's great. I love putting it on top of chicken and rice. It's just delicious. Another sauce I've gotta brag about, is from Health Nut. I don't know if you've ever eaten at this restaurant. They make this spicy Asian sauce and it is so good. It was so good that I actually started ordering it by the bottle because those little packets just weren't enough. Now on the bottom shelf, this is where I keep the hot sauces. There's some classics that you've seen before. Crystal Louisiana hot sauce is always gonna be in my fridge. This has been in every fridge tour and it's probably been in my fridge for over a decade. Here's a new face. We've got Keith's hot sauce, which my sister absolutely loves. We've also got Taco Bell hot sauce. This is for my boyfriend, Mike. He Ooh. loves Taco Bell. He has a problem. Also, my favorite fancy new hot sauce is Truff hot sauce. Now this is made with truffles and it is delicious. It is so good on chicken. And I've been putting it on mac and cheese. It makes everything taste amazing. Then we've got our American classics over here. We've got some ketchup, uh, mayonnaise and mustard. Then we have these. They're refrigerated protein bars. They come in different flavors. Peanut butter, peanut butter, 
salted caramel with peanuts. You just wanna grab something and run. I just keep a few right here. I love pickles. I always have some kind of pickles in my fridge. And these are like baby pickles. They're called cornichons. It just tastes like sodium. They're very salty. They're salty little pickles and I love them. We also have some jalapenos because I've been making a lot of tacos lately. And this is mom's. She likes jam. All right, that is it for everything on the door. Now let's move to the shelves. This fridge is so tall I can barely reach the back of the top shelf, but you know, when you go on your tippy toes, anything's possible. So over here, I have freshly squeezed orange juice. I feel like I have a mini orange orchard in my backyard. I have nine mature orange trees and they produce a ton of oranges. You'll see oranges down here in, in the fruit bin, but Mama Mia actually makes fresh squeezed orange juice every day. So if you guys have any orange recipes that you love, please let me know in the comments down below. The top two shelves of the fridge are basically beverages. We have a lot to choose from because a lot of people are here. I have a lot of people coming and going all the time because I work from home. These are my new favorite teas called Shaka. They're from Hawaii. They have different flavors, but my favorite is pineapple mint. Oh yeah. This is one of Mike's favorite drinks. It's ginger beer. The brand is Reed's. In my opinion, they are the best. They use real ginger. I accidentally bought the wrong kind. This is zero sugar. I meant to get original. This is just an accident. Then we've got some water because sometimes we'll be working or on on the go and I just need to grab a water bottle. The most important drink in the fridge, the coffee. We always gotta have some iced coffee right here, on tap, ready to go. Sometimes I do a medium roast, sometimes a dark roast, and we have different milks over here. So this is the season of oat milk, everyone. Again, my sister can't have dairy, so we have a lot of options. Almond and coconut creamer, and this is a great brand. This is really yummy. It's nut pods. <laughs> on to the second drink. Shelf. This is a new face in the fridge, Spindrift. It's naturally flavored sparkly water and my team loves it. We've got it in every flavor that you can think of. They only use real fruit for the flavoring. So it's really fresh and really crisp. Over here, this is for me. Cutwater makes a bunch of spirited drinks, but I really like their Mai Tais. Again, that's my Aloha vibes. This is for Aloha Friday over here. Then we have some more flavored drinks and these are things we like to indulge in. So a few of these aren't the most healthy, but you know, I love Diet Coke. We've got some more Starbucks over here. Mike likes Herba Mate's. They're a more natural, organic energy drink. And then over here, Celsius is a new new. I've been drinking a ton of this. We have it in different flavors. This one is like guava, but I also really love the cola flavor. It has so much caffeine. It's on those days that just don't end and you just need to get through it. And then over here, this is kind of random. I just saw these at the store. And whenever I'm shopping, sometimes I like to try new things. They're baby pineapples. That's their name. That's how they sell them. They're way too expensive. They're $5 a baby pineapple. And I'm like, for what? You can take two bites of it. But my little nephew, baby Grayson, he likes really cute things. So I thought this might entice him to maybe want to try a bite. Next couple of shelves, they're my height. It's got a bunch of snacks. I've got some leftover takeout from last night. <laughs> Yum. And then over here, I've got baby carrots and oh, these are amazing. They're called carrot chips. They're shaped and cut like chips and I'm tricking my brain to be like, oh yeah, these are chips and I dip them in yummy dip and it's like a healthier option to a potato chip. So here we've got our carrots, little snack foods and I've got different flavored hummuses. I don't know about you guys, but I love baby corn. I've only seen them canned in a jar. And I was at Trader Joe's and I found a bunch of them. So I'm probably gonna throw these in a stir fry tonight. I have so many baby things right now. I have baby corn, baby pickles, baby pineapple. I mean, what's next? Speaking of what's next, you guys, baby apples. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I found these at the store. I've never had one. I don't even know what they taste like. And they say money can't buy happiness, but have you seen these? Because I bought these with money and these made me very happy. Oh my gosh, they're great. You guys want one? Okay, Ray, here, try one. Sometimes when I'm shopping at the store, I like to just try things. Something that catches my eye, I'm like, let's try that. That looks new and fun. <gasps> oh my gosh, look in the fine print right here. I'm not kidding you guys, it says US Extra Fancy. Oh, you heard it here first, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put these right here, actually, because I'm gonna be eating them with my little carrot. Last shelf in the refrigerator, just some basics. Over here, I have some just chopped up sweet potato. I like to boil these, I like to bake these. And then we've got some fresh fruits. I've got 
grapes, strawberries, blueberries. I love to have things in the fridge that are just easy to nibble and snack on. And then, yum. My mom loves to have English muffins every morning, and so do I. And these ones are our favorite. These are sourdough. Best morning ever. And we've got some eggs. At my old house in the drawers, I just kept like fruits and veggies. But here, this is quesadilla drawer. So in here, I've got a bunch of different cheeses. There are blends, mozzarellas, and a ton of different tortillas. It's so cool what they're doing these days in food. It's not just your standard flour tortilla anymore. They have so many different kinds. Let me show you. I've been having fun. They have cauliflower tortillas, spinach tortillas. These ones are just flour, but they're organic, you know, cool. And then my favorites are the little ones because I like making little tacos. And my personal favorite are the corn tortillas. I think they taste better, but my boyfriend likes the flour tortillas. This refrigerator has a setting right here so you can pick for the drawers on fruit or vegetables. So this is our fruit drawer in here. Like I said before, we have a ton of fresh oranges. And then we've got some apples. My favorite are Honeycrisp. Some lemons, they're Meyer lemons because those are sweeter, easier to bake with, and some limes. Then in this bottom drawer, here's the veggies. I have artichokes, I love artichokes. Some red peppers, sweet potatoes, avocados, and these little, what are these called exactly? I just call them little taters. Dutch yellow potatoes. My, you're not gonna believe this, it says baby again. I swear I'm not hinting at something, I'm not pregnant, you guys, but these are literally baby potatoes. I'm like, you like these, these are your favorite. Whew, all right, so that is everything in my fridge. There is a lot here, because it feeds a lot of people. And now, let's check out what's in the freezer. So there's two hidden doors. The right one is a refrigerator, and then the left one is the freezer. And my freezer is full of a bunch of comfort food with a hint of healthy. Let me show you. Ta-da! Here's the freezer, and here is the hint of healthy. Here's the fruit right here that I throw into smoothies. I got a bunch of mango and pineapple, and then this shelf has some berries as well. I do have fresh berries in the fridge, but I like to keep frozen ones for smoothies in the morning. Up here we have popsicles, which are healthy adjacent. These are for my mom. My mom loves popsicles. And then over here we have some ice packs. These came with me. I'm really clumsy. I injure myself a lot, so I have different types of ice packs. And this one's great if you're a baker. This is for the fingers. If you burn your finger, you just boop, ice it right there. The top two shelves of my freezer have the yummies. They're the comfort desserts. And a lot of them you'll notice again are dairy free so that my mom and my sister can enjoy them. These ones are so good. They're non-dairy dessert bars. This one is made with banana and this one is made with oat milk and they are dipped in chocolate and they are so good. This little ice cream cone I found at Trader Joe's and it's made with coconut milk. They're just little and I could eat 10 of them so I have to be careful. And here's some little bite-sized lemon bars. These are my boyfriend's favorite dessert. I do make these homemade for him but if I am traveling or I'm busy, Trader Joe's makes them bite size and ready to go. And this is a brand that I talked about in my last fridge tour and I still love them. So these are dairy free. They're made with almond milk. The brand is so delicious. Um, 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 um. So delicious uses different types of non-dairy milks. Like they use almond, they use coconut milk, and that's also the same with their ice creams. You may remember these from my last kitchen tour, but this is my favorite flavor. This is made with cashew milk. Cashews are very creamy and I feel like they are the most similar to ice cream. Salted caramel cluster is everything. Then Mike's favorite is the snickerdoodle. This is a close second. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 it, one, it wants me to close the door, and two, it's saying I need to replace my water filter. Where does the water filter even go in here? Probably because the freezer makes ice down in this drawer. This is the ice machine, and then the ice bucket is right here. Oh, I gotta figure that out. Now, I have some ice creams in my fridge that do contain dairy because I can have dairy, and I love these. These are from Whole Foods. I'm Italian on my mom's side. I love gelato, so I've got some different gelato flavors over here. Caramel and seasoning salt, butter cookies, and the uh, wild berry one. Those are my three favorite flavors. McConnell's at Whole Foods makes the coolest flavors. Like this one's toasted coconut, and then look, look, look. This is perfect for the holidays. It's called reindeer tracks. Let's see what it looks like, guys. Is it supposed to look like poop? Like reindeer tracks? Oh, it smells so good. It's like minty and like Christmas. We just gotta taste this. I went shopping, had a little fun. Wow, wow, wow. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, you know what it tastes like? A Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie. Oh my gosh, I need a minute, you guys. I just found my new favorite thing. This is mine. I'm eating it right out of the bin. This is me. I also like lighter desserts, and these are just some extra chocolate dipped bananas. These are Diana's bananas. I don't remember what grocery store I got them. Maybe Pavilions or Ralph's, but they're in the freezer section, and it's literally a banana dipped in dark chocolate. If I'm in a hurry, there's a bunch of frozen ready to eat food. One for breakfast is the multi-green waffles. We love these, just the instant waffles that you throw in your toaster. These ones are from Trader Joe's. Mike's favorite, he loves loves these quesadillas. These are at Trader Joe's too. Having his own quesadilla drawer in the refrigerator was not enough. He also has to have some frozen ready to go in the freezer. The man loves quesadillas. These are one of my favorites from Trader Joe's and I've been keeping them in my freezer. They are humbows. I first fell in love with humbows while I was living in China. Some of you may not know, but I used to live and teach English in China after I graduated from college. It's like a bun and inside there's like meats and veggies and they're really flavorful. And I went to Trader Joe's and I found these and they are delicious. Silly cheese steak bao buns, and I don't usually eat a lot of steak, but I make an exception for these. They are that good. Then I've got some frozen chicken nuggets, little chicken strips over here. Those are for me and for my little nephew Grayson. He likes those. Then I've got some rice, brown rice, and regular white rice. So that's all of the shelves in the freezer. Now let me show you what's in the two drawers. As I mentioned before, this first drawer is the bucket where the ice ends up. This is the ice machine right here. I love this rice stir fry. It's my favorite stir fry from Trader Joe's. And on this side, just bags of gnocchi. I don't know if you've ever had this. I shop at Trader Joe's a lot. Didn't just realize it till I'm saying it out loud right now. So I guess this year is also the year of Trader Joe's. I don't usually recommend frozen foods, but if you love gnocchi, this is the best thing at Trader Joe's in the frozen food section. Last door in the freezer, pizzas. In the 11 years of knowing Mike, this is his favorite frozen home pizza. He's a Red Baron man, you guys. I've tried everything. I've tried every brand to get him off of this stuff and uh, he, he won't do it. It's still his favorite. Michael, you have a problem. And then mine is, it's DiGiorno. I get the cheese pizza so that I can put our own fresh toppings like peppers or whatever we want on top of them. So I add a little bit of freshness to a frozen pizza, but I'll just say that. A hint of healthy. <laughs> All right, that's it for everything in the freezer. Now in a normal video, this would be the end of the video, but you know me, I am hashtag ridiculous, and my kitchen has two fridges. This is one of them, and there is a second fridge in the pantry, which I call my baking fridge. And it's really cool because I get to keep all of my baking supplies and projects that I'm working on in there. So let's go take just a quick peek. All right, do 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 do, and da da. <laughs> Eggs for days. So this shelf, we have a little back stock of coffee, some more milks, heavy cream, because whenever I'm making uh, heavy whipped cream, this is what I use, and Granny Smith apples. Most times when you're baking, you use Granny Smith, especially apple pies. Those are ready to go for the holidays. In the bottom drawer, we have eggs for days, because I am a baker and I use a lot of eggs when I'm baking and developing recipes or making crusts or doughs. And this is the butter drawer. <laughs> we have lots of butter. Uh, my boyfriend really likes Tillamook. I have a lot of family from the Northwest and some of my family live in Oregon, so I like to show some Oregon pride. And I've also got some vegan butter over here for when I'm baking. And then up here, these two shelves are some cakes that I'm working on, playing around with different decorations. And we've got some icing and refrigerated cookie dough because I'm making some sugar cookies. And these, okay, so I found these at the store. I'm always looking and trying new things. You know how Pillsbury makes pre-made cookie dough? This year they made gingerbread cookies. I've never seen them do this before, so I got really curious and I wanted to try them out. I've never seen these ready-to-make cookies do this before, but I think the sheets are already flat and cut out, so this would be really fun for kids. So I'll post some stories when I'm trying this and let you know how it goes. So that is everything in the baking fridge. A lot of supplies. Now let me show you what's in my baking freezer. <laughs> oh jeez. On the bottom shelf, we have a bunch of pre-made puff pastry for when I'm making desserts in a hurry and I don't want to do it from scratch. I use these for a lot of things. And 
you gotta come check this out. These are basically the extras. When I made a wedding cake using only little mini cakes from the Easy Bake Oven, I made a ton and I actually made too many. And now here are all the extras sitting in my freezer and I don't know what to do with them. You may not know this, you can actually freeze cake. So if you make cake in advance, like for a party or something, you can wrap them in food safe wrap and freeze them until you're ready to decorate them and put them together. But I have a bunch of Easy Bake Oven cakes. I don't know how many are in there. Maybe like a hundred? <laughs> and this fridge is always changing depending on whatever I'm baking this week. So every week it's different. All right, that does it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the new fridge, fridges tour in my new house. This is really fun to make. If you have any other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best to make them happen. And if you enjoyed this video, you liked watching it, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And if you want to check out the new merch, go to rosannapansito.com or click the link in the description down below. And if you'd like to watch another video, you can click up here or up here. Bye guys!